Okay guys, here we go. Another adventure. Where I'm going right now, it's a place called Sexy Retreat. And uh, I'm gonna call it the Playboy Mansion because the basement of this house has probably every single issue of Playboy Magazine ever published. It's crazy. In the middle of the woods, it's a beautiful house, time capsule. Rhythm Rider and I were here about two years ago, I think. And I've had a, a lot of people ask me to come back here and see what it looks like two years later. So I'm just taking the uh, long walk up through the forest and way up to the house. So if everything works out, we'll get inside and uh, we'll see you in there. Cue the music, cue the intro. Peace. Okay guys, here we go. Made my way in, took the long walk up the, uh, up the, through the forest, through the trees, over the trees, got to the house and now I'm inside. And uh, it is in very, very rough shape. So this explorer is really uh, by request. A lot of my, a lot of you guys who follow my stuff have asked me that they'd love it if I came back here like two years later to see what it looks like. So here I am two years later, and when I was here with Ritter Rider two years ago, there's a bit of a hole in the ceiling and some water damage, but it's in really rough shape now. Half of the ceiling in the living room has fallen down onto the floor. There's much more water damage, and unfortunately, this place has been ransacked by people. Uh, when we were here two years ago, it was in pretty much untouched perfect condition. <laughs> not so much anymore as you're gonna see. So I'll do what I can to provide you guys with some before and after, now and then type stuff. But uh, as we stand, I'm just gonna turn this around, turn my light on, and let's just start walking around and I'll show you guys what it looks like now. All right, All right so this, folks, is the living room of the sexy retreat house. Okay, so here's gonna pan around. Now take a look up there, and I will show you guys right now what this room looked like two years ago. Okay, pretty rough, right? So let's move on now into the master bedroom, and uh, this room here is shockingly, shockingly ransacked. There's a couple of guitars on the floor there. So, right here, here's your bed. And uh, there's just, between this closet and that hutch and whatever else in these drawers, everything has been picked through and tossed all over the floor. It's just a mess. So I'm going to do a pan, and then I'm going to show you what it looked like before okay so here's a pan of what the room looks like right now and now I'll post some photos into the video to show you what it looked like two years ago Okay guys, so let's take a walk around here and I'll show you some of the stuff that we've got in this room here. So, this uh, bed is just completely covered with crap. There's a picture of a motorcycle outside the front of the house. Why we call it Sexy Retreat? It's because there is a very sexy mirrored ceiling in the bedroom over the bed. Now, the other thing that, thing that we're gonna notice in this house as we explore and move around is the massive amount of pornography to be found in this house in, ter in the in way of magazines. So here's one called Men Only. And let's take a flip through here to see what we got. Yeah, there we go, yeah. <laughs> oh, yep, there we go. This is definitely some uh, older type of pornography as you can probably tell. All right, and then let's take a look up here. 
and you've got a penthouse magazine as well. Let's see what's going on in these drawers. Oh, this drawer is just a mess. Holy cow. What do we got here? Check this out. Cedo Gaston. Jay's baseball cards here. Who's that? George Bell. Check these out, eh? This is some old stuff. Huh. Old Toronto Blue Jays baseball cards. And what year are these from? These are from A&P and Dominion. So you're looking at like 80s, late 90s. I guess that would be late 90s with uh, George Bell. Early 90s, I should say, with George Bell. All right, moving on. We've got some condoms on the bed here. What else we got? Keys, probably for the cars outside. Got some BBs. There's a BB gun in the basement. Was my for that here. Oh, look at this. There you go. A pair of glasses with a penis. Been pretty much ransacked as well. That's uh, this was all in very nice condition when I was first here with Rhythm Rider two years ago. Got some jewelry in there. Man, okay. Here we got some guitars. Got one right here. Got another one right there. Moving over here, there's some more magazine pornography. Here you've got a Playboy holiday anniversary issue. Here you've got another Playboy right here. You've got a Hustler magazine right there. Nasty. Now there's a play, play girl on the floor. So I guess both mom and dad in this house both enjoy their pornography. Good for them. Here's how somebody got in. That's not how I got in, but somebody definitely broke in that window. You've got a Iron Horse beer right there. Oh. All right. Let's move along. In some other parts of the house here. Here we've got a bathroom. Nothing much to it. I'm guessing the uh, house was vacated around Christmas time because there's quite quite a quite a bit of Christmas decorations throughout the house. And here is an office. It's an old wedding photo right there. And then you got all the ladies' shoes here. There's the ladies' uh, vanity mirror. And so she obviously did a lot of sewing because she's got a lot of uh, material. And she looks like she ran a, a sewing business out of the house. This is a calendar for what year? It's a fireman's calendar. What year are we looking at here? Let's see. 2002 firefighter calendar. All right. This is a nice shape, probably because there's nothing of value in here, so everybody just left it alone. And the man of the house here was a fireman. And then here's a bedroom, very, very much picked through and ransacked here. This was not in perfect shape, but uh, it was in much better shape than two years ago. Check this out. We got an E.T. doll. <laughs> That's a creepy looking E.T. And there you go, the ceiling has fallen under the bed. Here's your dresser, or I should say your closet. All right. Move on. 
on now to the rest of the place. Okay, so back here, there's a guitar case which is probably empty because the guitars are in the bedroom. You got your Sears calendar right there. Here's a closet with some records, some old kids' toys, bread maker, Trivial Pursuit, some board games, coats. Okay. All right, here's Grandma's sewing machine. Very nice. Singer sewing machine. In very good condition still. And uh, there's your foot pedal right there. Firemen, most popular little uh, ceramic firemen, ceramic people. And then this here is pretty interesting. So here you've got a bunch of motorcycles, a bunch of Harley Davidson motorcycle toys. On top here, and then you've got a Ford Thunderbird, and you've got a bunch of keys and pins and stuff. This was in. Uh, in two, well, two years ago, this was really in nice shape. This had not really been picked through. Um, none of this stuff on top of here was all had been ransacked through. Now it is. Curious to know if it's explorers who came in and did this or if it's just idiots coming in and being idiots, right? All right. Here's the dining room area. Again, picked through. A lot of stuff has been strewn about. This was uh, really nice when we first came here. There was a lot of stuff up on top of there, which is no longer up there. And I really don't think that this is family coming in and uh, picking through things. I, I think that this is, I think that this is vandals doing this kind of stuff. I don't think that a family would leave a house like this. This right here, we can thank Rhythm Rider. Rhythm Rider set this up for a picture and he never tore it down. China. All right, the kitchen's nice. You guys are gonna like this. The stove and there's a really old-fashioned stove in the kitchen right here. Finley's Oval Stove. Finley Brothers. Really nice stove. It actually works. It's got a uh, exhaust up through the roof. So I'm guessing that they did actually use this. And uh, there's your fridge. A little table and there's your traditional stove and microwave and some really nice little this is some old coke bottles up there and some old Javex love on loving all this old stuff excellent stuff Okay, let's move downstairs, guys. Take a look around. And let's take a walk downstairs. There's a lot of stuff down here, but it's also extremely tight down here as well. Okay, so we got a lot of old beer bottles down here some records in there. Now, when I was here last time, there was a gramophone in here. A really nice old record player gramophone. And I think it's gone. I did a quick walkthrough before I started. And I think it's gone. So let's go through here. This room, you could easily walk through two years ago. And now there's shit everywhere. I don't think there's power. Oh, nope, that turns the furnace on. What's this? Yep, yeah, there we go. We got power. That's good. Okay, so that'll make this easier. Okay. Big old wrench right there. There's some really old Molson Canadian stubbies and Carlsberg stubbies 
and old Coke bottles back there. I'll pull those out in a bit and I'll get you guys a better look at that. Here is a pellet gun right here. Pump gun. See, there you go. And there's your little, just a little pellet gun. And old telephone here. Just like I said, we've got very, very many issues of Playboy magazine. <laughs> what year? This is 1982. Um, 1982. Playmate of the year. 1982. Somewhere they had the issue with Vanna White, unless somebody stole it, which wouldn't surprise me. Here's the old man's workbench with all of his tools and gadgets. Check out this old phone here, guys. See that? All right, more beer bottles, empty and full. Got some old fishing poles there. See how old those fishing poles are? And then, uh, moving over here. I saw something earlier. Oh yes, here it is. Old Quaker State motor oil. And it's still full. Hey, look at that. Quaker State motor oil. Three cans. Still full of oil. That's nuts. And then see over here, last time I was here, I found this trumpet and I put a gramophone right here on this chair. And conveniently, there's a door right there and somebody probably walked out with it. Here is some old Harley Davidson Daytona beer 1993 and 1994 that stuff's uh, probably collectible and you got a lot of shovels hockey sticks and just junk back here okay okay what do you think of this guys these are uh, this is an old coke bottle still has coke in it this is an old can of Labatt blue a Molson Canadian stubby and a Carlsberg stubby. And if you can see, there's still beer. They're still full, every one of them. See that? There's all kinds of those in here. There's probably like three cases of beer <laughs> worth of unopened beer, beer in here. This, this place is just incredible. Okay, let's move along. We've got the newer beer. You got the you got a box of PC beer mixed in with all the old beer. It's getting dark outside. I'm starting to lose light. Okay. Let's go over here. those barrels, old boxes, there's a duck, check out this old baseball glove, this is an old, old baseball glove, it's one of those big fat ones, Budweiser, piggy bank, empty. Check this out. ET stick uh, button. Look at that. Wow. It's like it's just stopped in time here, guys. Everything is just stopped in time. Oh, man. Overwhelmed with all the stuff in here. Big old piece of driftwood. 
hope my uh, camera's not making too much noise as I move it around from hand to hand. All right. There's the little rascals right there. Okay. Very hard to move around in here. Check out these old roller skates. Into the bottom of your shoe. Dollhouse. Skates. Three pairs of skates. One, two, three. I'm not getting cobwebs in my face. What do we got here? Not too much. Got an old book right there. It's dark in here. stuff. It's a pretty new hammer. <laughs> wow. There's some of the old lady's uh, material for sewing. Here you got a snowsuit. A little green dress right there. And then here, I'm walking through cobwebs guys. Some really old whiskey and vodka. Check that out. Canned food. Yams. Canned yams. This is crazy. I think I'm saying check this out a lot. Tomato soup. Lots of corn. Looks like these guys were ready for the uh, end of the world here. Taco sauce. Oh, that is nasty. <laughs> check this out. Oh, fish fillets and hot sauce. It's probably still good. In this old box. Let's see what we got in here. Guys, look at this. It's an old wooden box full of like tins of throat lozenges. Rum and butter toffee. There's a notepad with a picture of a lady on it. There's some tools. There's a, a ruler. Wow, I might be here for a while taking some pictures. There's a lot of stuff in here that I had that I didn't see last time. That is really cool. Wow. It's so dark in here though. And then you got some more tools, some more of the old man stuff back here. Sorry if I'm moving too fast. Okay, there's one more room in the basement to go through. And then I think we might be done. And I gotta get some, some pictures in here. This is probably still, even though it's been ransacked, this is still one of the best houses, I think, in the, in the area where I live. Definitely. Still one of the best houses. All right, now in here, I came in here earlier, but I didn't see it. But this is where I found like the whole Playboy collection that the old guy had. But there's so much stuff thrown around that I don't really know where they went if they're even still here. There's a light I can turn on over here. That'll help, hopefully, if it still works. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we got light. Good. Oh, all right. Let's take a look over here in the corner first. We got some old skis. There you go. Ski poles. And then what's this? Oh, this is a sewing machine, I think. Is it a sewing machine? Photos. I'm gonna have to uh, take my time with that, so I'll show you guys that in a minute. Some big old wagon wheels here too. Look at this. There's a lot of really old exercise equipment too. See that old bike right there? Exercise bike. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a break, turn off the camera, and uh, check out some of this stuff and see what I can find. And I'll come right back. Okay, guys. So I removed everything off of this, and I revealed what I'm guessing is another extremely old sewing machine. I don't see a name on it, but it looks even older than the one upstairs. And it's in really nice shape. It's got some cobwebs on it and stuff, but that is a really nice antique item. I really wish the people who own this house, or the family at least, would come back and take care of this stuff, because there is some stuff that needs a home in here. Here we go. Some more old pop cans or pop bottles or some Pepsi stubbies. No, that's Budweiser. Those are Budweiser stubbies inside a Pepsi box. speaker all right moving along Ready for this? Here we go. I found the box with <laughs> what's this? We've got 1979 Penthouse, 1982 Playboy, 1983 Playboy, 1979 Up Close and Personal with the Cheerleaders Who Were Too Hot for the NFL. August 1981, May 1980, <laughs> Stewardesses, a glorious pictorial, June 1980, Playmate of the Year. There is so much more of this stuff in this house, guys. <laughs> it mis makes me laugh. It's hilarious. Oh, man. Oh, there's another Hustler magazine right there. This guy was definitely a porn king, this guy, eh? Alright, I'm gonna make my way upstairs. Meet you back up there. Okay guys, so this has been Sexy Retreat, video number two. Hope you guys have liked this one. I've uh, got lots of footage from here. Exploring footage, B-roll footage, up close footage, and uh, this has been something else. What do you guys think of this place? Obviously down below, I'm gonna link my original video to this place. I'll link my original gallery, and of course, I'll post before and after, now and then photos, as I did earlier, and uh, yeah, I gotta take some pictures. Hope you guys have liked it. Thanks for sticking around for the whole video. And as always, stay tuned for the next adventure. Peace.